Welcome back to Cross Tactics. Here we have the standard, stock standard, um, rapid, rapid fire tactical crossbow package. Um, so it is my rapid fire magazine system on top of the alligator. Um, and this is the stock standard alligator that comes with the foregrip um, that you can angle forward to double as your cocking aid. I've run through this um, in previous videos too. Um, but I'm also shooting in previous videos and other videos with my personal one that has um, a bunch of aftermarket stuff, so it has an aftermarket grip um, and it has a laser on it and all of that stuff. So I'm going to try and do more videos just the stock standard ones so I don't give people the wrong idea of what you get in the basic package. Um, currently I don't offer vertical grips anymore, I don't have them in stock. Um, so if I do get again, um, just check with me when we order a unit and uh, check whether I have. And um, so the design has been updated with uh, the side rails. also mentioned that in previous videos, but now from now on all the systems have them since I've tested um, all the optics that I could find, um, all the attachments that I could find on them, red dot sides, scopes, um, lasers, flashlights, uh, what have you. And uh, so far everything that I've tested fits, so I'm more than happy to um, just start adding it to the design. So previously all the magazines um, that I sold, except for the last few with the updated um, um, magazine design has uh, no side rails, so you only have the, the top rail. Um, so the reason we went ahead with the side rails, obviously just to give you more um, more configurability, you know, um, to make the system more modular so you can customize it, personalize it um, more, right? So um, previously you only had the top rail and you'd have to take off your front sight now a bit closer, you'd have to take off your front sight. Um, so now you can actually, if you do want to put a red dot sight or whatever on there, you can keep your, um, your front sight on the crossbow so it doesn't get lost. <coughs> and um, also I've tested flashlights, lasers, and everything. Um, I'm also just going to run through quick, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of talk about speed loaders, right? And I mean, this is so easy to, to load this up. In the time that it takes um, you, let's say you have a Stinger 2 or a Yak Archery T3, um, something along those lines with a hatch that opens at the top, um, and then it has the retention spring, um, and then you have a speed loader that you put in, um, hold down, strip and rip, um, put that away, then close up the latch, right? Now, in that action, while you're doing that, your system's unusable, right? With mine, you put your thing in, your, your bolts in, and if something is happening around you that requires that you need to be back in action instantly, you just drop it. And it's ready, no matter how many you've got in there already, one, two, three, whatever, you just drop it, and you're ready to cock again and go. Um, instead of having an open latch, um, having a, a secondary piece that you have to put in, um, I'm not saying speed loaders are bad. Um, someone recently brought to my attention the fact that in Germany um, you are not allowed to keep a crossbow like this loaded. I'm not talking about keeping it cocked, I'm talking about keeping it loaded. So I can't, if I lived in Germany, take this system with the bolts in it, put it down next to my bed, hang it next to my wall or whatever and go to sleep. That would be illegal. Um, and it has to be um, behind you know, lock and key, so it has to be in a safe or something. So uh, we don't have any of those restrictions here in South Africa, so I'm not going to worry about a speed loader since my system is only available in South Africa at the moment. Um, for people um, abroad, I am looking for shipping options since I am getting a lot of requests, requests from abroad, um, even though there are systems available abroad. I'm not just talking about the Stinger or the Yak Archery T3, that's like um, 300 euros for, for a package. Um, where this is this is about half the price um, for my basic package, and um, what is it going to say? Oh, so yeah, if uh, these systems are available, but people don't want to spend that much money. Now I don't know whether if shipping costs are included in my price abroad, if it's going to run up to the same price. See, so I'm uh, still looking at or navigating the logistics when it comes to shipping abroad. Okay, so what I've got in here is eight, um, eight aluminium shaft bolts, 
Um, I also want to make a point with the bolts um, that these are half and half. So this is solid plastic. Right, that's solid, solid plastic. Um, it's not, it's not rubber. Um, it's solid plastic in there, and the shaft is thicker aluminium than the ones with the rubber fletching, and these are screw-in tips. Okay, so um, the other ones, the other aluminium shaft ones, the ones that people say say are weak, um, are the ones that are friction fitted in the front, and they have a solid, thin aluminium tubing um, shaft. With rubber fletching glued onto them. This aluminium shaft is much thicker. The, the this is solid and rigid all the way through. Um, and the the connection that the, the tip makes, the tips also sharper on these. Um, the, the tip makes um, is stronger, right? So they do rattle loose. These ones. I'll also mention all of this when I do a video exclusively on bolts. Um, they do rattle loose. So what you can do, what I do. With all the ones I normally use, these are brand new out of the box bolts, so I'm not going. I haven't. I haven't done that yet, but I am going to. Um, just dab a little bit of super glue, lock tight, whatever you have available, um, and then thread it back in. If anything oozes out, you just uh, take it off. So yeah, let's pop this guy back in. And um, okay, so this is angled forward, which makes. Um, the cocking, because okay, there's two different ways of cocking it. Like you'll see in my videos, I release it, put my hand all the way back, and then push this down and forward. Right? So there's another method um, that people like to use, and it's much easier with this, with an angled forward uh, foregrip, than with a vertical one, um, which is that you release the button and then sort of hold it here, and then bring the whole system down. <coughs> so I'm going to use that method today because I have the front uh, forward angle. Uh, grip on here. I've got a small little target here. This target is um, a box with other pieces of corrugated box cardboard cut to shape and layered all the way down, all the way through. Um, the thickness of it is about the length of the bolt without the fletching. Um, so, let's see that. Seven shots out, and you saw how easy that method was. There you go, look at that. So I should have probably put a, I normally do have like a phone book backstop to stop the bolt from going too far through, um, but you can see, I mean, this is. This is layered all the way through with cardboard. Um, and I'm not going to open it now. And um, oh, maybe I should open this like this. You can see there, this is cardboard all the way through. I don't know if you can see there. So, um, even with these field tips. System has more than enough power to um, and the grouping. I mean, I wasn't even I wasn't even really aiming that much. I was just like lining it up as it falls in, into into the um, into the shooting line. I was just releasing. Um, obviously, if you're going to shoot at the further distances, you're going to have to work with your your aiming a bit more. Um, you can see on my channel, I've got videos where I shoot at 15 meters. Um, videos where I shoot at 7 meters, um, and I will do that again, I just don't have the space. Um, I'm doing it at someone else's premises when I do those videos. Um, in my own premises, I don't have the space for it. So, um, yeah, you can see how quick it is, you can see how fast it is, um, the system is reliable, and um, I normally have the black alligators. Um, I've got a couple of green ones in stock because people were asking for green ones specifically, so um, I also got a green one like this for myself for testing version or testing uh, model. Um, so now I've got two test models. 
um, that I test the magazines on. So every magazine system that leaves my premises gets tested personally by me, making 100% sure that it works. Um, and uh, I personally assemble them. Here and there, there's some um, handmade uh, aspects of it. Um, it's not, not uh, machined. Um, and, but that's literally just to like, get rid of some artifacts here and there. Um, you know, things that, that aren't uh, smooth, things that are a bit uh, rigid. Um, for example, if I can try and find something now. Um, okay, so like this, this part there, the underneath part of the magazine, right? You don't want there to be any, any sort of artifacts or roughness there. Um, just in case it, it touches your string, right? So the top of the, the, or the bottom of the magazine that sits on the rail doesn't touch the string. And you don't want anything to touch the string um, because you don't want the string to wear out unnecessarily. So if I find any sort of artifact, any, anything rough, um, when I inspect the, the, the parts and assemble them, then I will go and quickly file that down, make sure everything is smooth. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to, it doesn't happen often, but um, I have had to do that with specifically the, the bottom there to make 100% sure it's smooth, there's no roughness. Um, and nothing sticking out, no, no artifacts protruding, um, or anything like that. So, um, I think that's all to say now. Demonstrated the different shooting methods, um, showed you how it goes through the, the target. Um, what I want to say is also the Stinger 2, Stinger 2 uses exactly the same platform, right? It's exactly the same, um, the same materials used, and um, only the thing is they modified it trigger gate in the back, they um, solidified this skeletonized bit, and they made the rail here longer, and also removed this hole, um, and, re and replaced the stock with their own stock, <coughs> and that's all. Um, you, can get you can get rail extensions, you can get um, replacement stocks, so the AR stock, or even um, get, some, uh, get someone to, to 3D print them for you. Um, to find them online, and um, so there's lots of lots of ways to customize this um, the system. Anyway, thank you for watching, and um, I will never ask you guys to subscribe or like or anything in my videos. You are adults; you know uh, what you want to do, right? Um, and I personally am exceedingly irritated by um, people on YouTube constantly asking to like and subscribe. So you'll never hear that out of me. Yeah, you have the the, the declaration that I'll never ask that. Of you guys, everyone is an adult. My videos are specifically set not for children, so make up your mind whether you want to subscribe or not, um, whether you like the videos or not. Um, thanks for watching.